so my last vlog we had my parents visiting and now we have Christian's parents visiting it's currently Tuesday and they got here yesterday and this morning we made a nice big breakfast the guys were shoveling a ton of snow there's so much snow <laughs> So, okay, we had that bonfire, as you saw in the last vlog, and it started snowing while we were out there, and it hasn't really stopped since then. <laughs> the fire pit is mostly buried. As you can see, we got a nice, thick onion ring on there, too, <laughs> and it's still coming down. So, I don't know what we're going to do today. I came down here to see if any new orders came in since yesterday. None have come in. I packaged them yesterday because I usually do Mondays and Thursdays. But yesterday was a holiday, so I scheduled the mail pickup for today. So I just came to see if any extras came in. None did, so I can print off the manifest for that and bring that upstairs. And I might just start editing while everyone's showering because I would like to get up my previous vlog for a Wednesday vlog. So <laughs> I have to find some time today to do that edit. Well, I'll at least start on it right now doing a trip to the dump. We have a whole bunch of stuff from when we moved that's just been sitting in the garage. The lady's taking her puppy out for a walk. Feels like we're going through customs. <laughs> Now to the metal bin. The pulled pork. Sammy's. Oh yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna lose my hair. Oh, the gang's all here. We got a king. Yeah. Again. Nice That's like three wilds <gasps> I've given you. I had a feeling. I got a pair. Woohoo, you get. Oh, Jack. Jack squat. So many sticker sheets, oh my god. I always tell myself, like, maybe I won't order a thousand this time, but it's like only a little bit more expensive than ordering 500, so it's like, why not? <laughs> then they last me a neater nitty. It is the next day, by the way. Christian, oh, I just cut this last sticker sheet. Why did I do that? What? Christian got called into work yesterday and had to work for the closing shift. So. <laughs> it was his parents' final night here. And then his parents left this morning. We caught up on a couple TV shows that we didn't watch over the weekend. And uh, yeah, now I've got a sticker delivery. Hey, little ducky. Cute, cute sticker. What is this weird lighting? <laughs> <laughs> but yep sticker sheets arrived i still don't have the notepads ordered i tried to go through with an order a full week ago and then i never heard back so today i kind of like bumped my email being like hello <laughs> and i got back but the digital proof had the bleed all wrong so there'll be a bit more back and forth with this notepad company but they're local so it shouldn't be too bad if it takes a while to get the ball rolling there's really no rush with this shop update like it's It'll happen when it happens, you know? But like I submitted it with a bleed and they went and added a solid blue border around the whole thing. And then so based on where their crop marks were, you would see like a sliver of blue at the edge of the design, which would be weird because 
it was designed to crop into the design, but we'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted before it goes to production. Yeah, I'm low energy today. Why? I have like no reason to be low energy. I just am. It's not like a lazy day. It's sticking to the table. <laughs> okay, really, that's how you wrecked your older cameras. Let's not do that. And who is this sleeping under there? You cutie geek. <laughs> the colors are so perfect though. Like this printed amazingly. Amazingly. I'm a little baby swimming in the water. Oh, hello, you coming to check it out? So these are paper stickers, just like the Y Baby Y and Thicker Treat, except this has a matte finish instead of the gloss, and I love this so much more. It looks so good. It still has that soft, silky touch, though, like a coated sticker. It doesn't feel like paper on the top. Oh, really? Okay. Well, I guess I won't break down that box right away. The Ducky Freebies have arrived. Transparent stickers. That'll be the order freebie. One free with every order. Yeah.
Okay, I just spent a while fussing with the packing slip template for ShipStation. I've done it once in the past for the 4x6 packing slips, and I made them pretty nice, but I find that they're still prone to error, even with like bigger font sizes, and especially like bolding, quantity 2, stuff like that. And I think a big problem is also lack of photo, because I personally rely a lot on the photos when I'm packing orders, but if I'm printing off packing slips, like if I'm packing with Christian, it's much easier for us to make mistakes if we can't actually see everything. So I've added the photo and I was tweaking how this was all displayed because I wanted quantity over here instead of over here and I didn't like the big gaps between everything. So I was fiddling with the code and not knowing what I was doing. <laughs> I finally got it how I want. So this one's just like a fake address. It's all pretend information, but um, that's what it's like. Except I've since tweaked the photos to be just a little bit smaller because I feel like there's a big gap between each item. So I have tweaked it a little bit since. I folded this one over because it is a real order. This is one you saw me package. If I was going to print off a whole bunch of these, I would use a laser printer because it's way faster and I'm not going to be burning through ink because the inkjet cartridges are so tiny. So I just ordered a laser printer and it'll be here on Sunday. A color laser printer so that I can have the product photos on there. So that's the way we're going to do it going forward. Oh my god, I should order more paper then too. <laughs> I don't have that much printer paper. <laughs> but yes, instead of printing on the thermal labels, it'll print big on a sheet of paper. And when I'm packing orders by myself, I don't need to print off the packing slips at all. But you know, for those times when I need Christian's help, this will be very nice. Also, I got new proofs for the notepads and they all look good. They offered for me to go look at them in person and I was like, eh, I don't think I really need that. I can just go off the photo they sent. So that order is placed and paid for. And that was the last thing I needed to order for the shop update other than like boxes and I guess paper now too. <laughs> I probably actually should order those boxes right now. Okay, I'm in trouble with Canada Post again. <laughs> So Christian went to the post office to pick something up and they gave him a bunch of my crap and told him a bunch of stuff that they want me to do differently. First of all, if I have a group of packages with a manifest, I can't drop it off at the post office near me because the address on the manifest is a completely different one, which is weird because like I don't even know how I would go about changing that. Like the post office address is a different post office. so. That's one thing. I mean, I stopped doing that anyway. I don't bring, I get pickups for everything now and I don't drop anything off on the weekend. So I don't do that anymore. The next thing pertains to a comment I got on a recent vlog because someone said that another small business YouTuber they watch who's from Canada is getting slapped for doing international letter mail of products that are not paper products and Canada Post is opening up the packages and not sending them. And I thought like, okay, well I haven't heard anything about any of mine coming back, but like just to play it safe going forward, uh, just the other day I turned off letter mail. Although I realized I did not do it correctly for individual bags and I have since fixed that today. And so even before Christian came back, I already made it so you cannot get the bags sent as letter mail if you're not in Canada. If you're can in Canada, you can still get them sent that way. At least, I mean, maybe I gotta go through this and double check that no Canadian ones have come back, but. So we're not doing that anymore. I have to go through all of these and resend them, I guess. I'm gonna have to peel off the stickers and like, they put stickers on everyone's address. So I'm gonna try to like peel them up and see who this was originally being sent to and contact them and resend it. So that's what I'll be doing today, I guess. <laughs> I was gonna do other stuff. I was gonna like maybe sit down and draw for a few hours, but I need to get those boxes ordered still and I need to deal with this. The other thing they didn't like is that my return address is a flex delivery address. So it's structured like a PO box, but it's not an actual physical PO box. And I never had a problem with that in Vancouver because I used my Vancouver Flex delivery address as the return address. I'd just get an email if something showed up and then I would go in and I'd pick it up and they never had any problems with that. But I guess here they don't like that. <laughs> so uh, if I don't want to use my actual house address, which I don't, I'm going to have to get a physical P.O. box 
So those are the changes I need to do. No more manifest drop-offs at that post office, which I already stopped doing. No more international letter mail for non-paper products, which I already stopped doing. And I will have to get that new PO box. I might have to physically go in to do that. Ugh. I think I'm gonna go to the post office right now, actually, to go get that PO box. Cause you have to do it in person and I might as well do that now before I send out any more packages. So gonna go do that. Okay, I'm back. I got the PO box. I was there for a while cause their internet cut out while we were mid process. And so I couldn't pay for the PO box and we kind of waited for a while to see if it'd come back up. And then I just went and got some cash from an ATM. So yeah, it's all good now. I'm gonna have some lunch though, probably because I'm hungry. It's like mid afternoon. This one return to sender parcel though is an anomaly cause it's like extremely flat. It's just a planner pad. That's, I can feel it like it's a paper pad. So why did that one get sent back? Like it has the same little labels as all the other ones. So I'm like, why? This one's fine. <laughs> now I also got my proofs for the prints, just for the ducky prints. Cause I'm getting the, the hollow ones are coming from cat prints. So. Okay, so I've never gotten one on this paper this big before. Is this the same? Oh yeah, it is the same paper. So, oh God, the lighting. <laughs> we got the big one and the small one. And so this is the five by seven. It doesn't fill the print as well, but uh, I didn't want to crop the artwork at all. So that's what we're getting. And then the eight by 10. It's a slightly textured, uncoated paper, so I just feel like it really suits the traditional artwork. Like, this almost feels like this is the original. The colors look good. They don't look too dark or anything. So, I think that's approved. I wanna see if I can capture this on camera at all. Like, capturing the sheen of this. Like, look at the background compared to the items, because I feel like anything that's darker has more of a sheen. At least I've noticed that with these prints. So it's like, they're kind of standing out against the background in a way. That's neat. Very neat. So it's got like almost a slight glossiness to it, but it feels like almost like watercolor paper. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do is make some little apology packets for the ones I have to resend. And I got these ducky stickers just in time. So. <laughs> I'm sure maybe I'll leave them stacked. There's not a ton of room here to lay them out. Some of these die cut stickers. And I also still have this big stack of old discontinued stickers, including fan art stuff that I don't sell anymore. So I'll just be picking some stuff from here. There's a lot of the cute foods, so we'll do that. A lot of kingdom hearts. So yeah, these will all have to be resent as parcels instead of letter mail. I have 12 envelopes and then I also have four parcels which were returned for other reasons so I'll have to look into that like I think one was just never claimed at the post office and got returned some of them are really old so I likely have already dealt with those they have the Halloween tape on them but I'll double check I'll make sure that that's been dealt with and another one got rejected by customs so <laughs> yeah I'll just look into those Go one package at a time and deal with it. But first I'm just gonna make these little sets. Switch the order here, I like. I want to grab the little one last, but I like this one being on top too because it makes it nice and pastel. This one's kind of dark. These are ones I made myself with my Cricut too. Those are ye olden stickers. <laughs> okay, it took me a while to sift through those and get them sorted, but... There are the new shipments and I'll just schedule them to go out tomorrow. So I'm hoping most letter mail packages made it through considering that's all I had returned were those 11. 
so fingers crossed there's not more because those were just the straight up rejected they never even made it into the mail stream it seems because the stamps weren't stamped over so i think they were just held behind the counter and then once they had a certain amount they sent me a little slip in my mailbox being like you have a package to come pick up and it was just like a bag containing all of those so i feel like if there was more they would have given it to christian today so hopefully that was it but i cannot continue to offer international letter mail for the bags just because it's too much of a risk i think I laid out my duckies and it's making me so excited. Even though I don't have the prints yet, I can use these samples of a little stand in here to kind of get an idea of what everything's going to look like. And I'm in love with the colors. So I did end up going with three depths for the rectangle boxes just because I want to. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ordering enough in total, but we'll start with this, I suppose. The large items are the planner pad and print, which can technically go in flat mailers, which I'm also ordering more of. So, yeah, and then a little bit of a couple square ones. So that's all I can really think of to order, except there's some glassine that might work for me on the, the packaging company website, but the lead time is like six to eight weeks on that item. So I was like, um, no. So I came to Eco and Close. They do flat glassine bags now. They're no longer gusseted, but I found through like a little FAQ thing, a link to the ones I like on clearance. I've been so sad that I can't order those anymore, but they're right there on clearance and they only have the small size, which is the size I use. And so I'm so excited I'm ordering 10 cases because I'm like, I'm never gonna be able to buy these ever again. The only thing is I don't know if I'll really need to use them that much if I'm not doing square planter pads anymore, but I'm sure I'll find uses for them eventually. So I don't wanna go too crazy with number of cases ordered, but we'll do 10. <laughs> this one, sadly not gusseted, but get two cases of that wait maybe we should get more i mean i do still have paper never mind that's probably fine for now glassine is paper but i mean like paper paper these ones here so it's paper just like glassine but it's not the same it's not a see-through and it doesn't have the same texture i hate the texture of these but i do have a lot of them So I saw some gouache TikToks the other night and I was like, hmm, I want to do some gouache stuff even though I've done like next to nothing. I know I did a little Merida gouache drawing and I know I purchased some, like a few tubes of nice gouache, but I'm like, did I ever use them? They look used, but I can't remember what I made with them. Probably something I scrapped because I have a, oh, that lady with like the, the vines going over her head. I don't know if I used the nice gouache for that but anyway I've done like two gouache illustrations in my life and I was like hey let's bust these back out because I'm in the mood to just play around with texture because you can do some interesting stuff with gouache so I wanted to give that a try and at the beginning it was not looking good okay this is going to be one of those trust the process things because <laughs> this grassy area looks so bad I'm drawing the mushrooms from my little bell jar mushroom lamp because I wanted something I could just look at in real life instead of trying to come up with something because when you're using a medium you're not used to or you're playing around with a new technique it's easiest if we're just looking at something in real life because then you know you're focusing on the way it looks not what you are drawing so much like I don't know it just makes it easier on my brain although you can fall into the trap of copying your real life reference too closely and not getting imaginative enough. And I think I was falling into that trap at the beginning, but I just kept on going and I didn't want to sketch anything out. So I was just mapping out the position of all the little mushrooms first by doing the mushroom caps. And I thought it'd be a good idea to do little horizontal streaks for the texture. Although I ended up kind of changing that. These look like those little macaroon chocolates, like those little turd shaped chocolates, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what the texture reminds me of or like seashells but uh that's not really what I wanted I I did some outlines where it's like okay here's an orange outline on one side then a yellow outline on the other side and I kind of liked that but I just kept going through and changing things because that's a beauty with opaque paint if you don't like something you can just paint over it to change it and since this is a fast drying paint I can rework it quicker than I can compared to oils 
And this makes me wonder if I would like acrylic wash or not. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it, so I don't know what the texture is like, but I don't really like acrylics because they dry fast. Plus, once acrylic is dry, it can't be re-wet. And that's why a lot of people like acrylic wash because a, a pain point, well, it could be a pain point with gouache, is that you reactivate color when you go to put color on top. And so you might get some unwanted color mixing, but I was kind of having fun with that color mixing in this. Like the white areas, for example, down on the grass, I just used white paint, but it doesn't look white because it was combining with the colors below and it made it look that much more interesting. So I was kind of liking that. So I'm like, I don't know if I would like the acrylic gouache. Plus like, you know, when I was using this gouache, I could put some down on my palette and if it dried out, I could just re-wet it and I would just get annoyed. And I know there are things you can do to keep acrylic wet. Um, I'm just not good enough at it, I guess. And I do have the Stow Wet palette, but I don't know, acrylic drives me nuts. So I don't know if I would like <laughs> acrylic gouache or not, but as much as I was struggling with this gouache initially, once I got the hang of it more and kind of tried some extra things with the texture, I ended up really liking it. And I think it turned out quite well at the end. Like up close, I was kind of second guessing myself. Then I would glance over at my computer to see the recording. And I'm like, oh, from afar, this is like kind of cute. Like I actually like it. And I didn't want to give myself too much time to do this. I was trying to limit myself to under two hours. And I think that's about how much time I spent because I had to get this vlog edited. I'm kind of like filming some stuff last minute, but I just really, really wanted to do some painting. And so I just squeezed it in there, you know? I just made some time for it and it worked out. Hey. There was a point in this when I realized I needed the dark background first so I could paint from dark to light. And so I went in and added a bunch of black to the background. I kind of mixed it in with some dark green I had on my palette because I wasn't using that green really. And so to not waste it, I just mix it in with the black and laid a bunch of that down and then started painting more stuff on top. And this is what made the reworkability of gouache really interesting because I was painting over black. And so when I wanna do fine lines, like all these little skinny leafy bits, I need to really water it down because the more watery it is, the easier it is to do clean, thin lines. Otherwise you get this chalky looking texture. And so the fact that it was wet, it was reactivating the black paint in the background but that makes it so I could layer the paint and have some areas that are more opaque and some areas more transparent where the black is showing through. And I just loved that look. And I was using more than one color. I wasn't just building up the same one the whole time, but it was just neat being able to work it that way and get that sense of depth. And this is when I was like really enjoying it. And I was like, okay, now I'm getting the hang of this gouache and having that background made it so much better. And so it was looking pretty good. I'm still a little torn about the mushroom caps just because they look like, I don't know, the textures may be a little weird. I could have worked it a little differently, but I think from a distance it looks good, so I'm not going to touch it. And then the grass I fixed at the last minute because having all those little tiny streaks just looked stupid. And so I went in with a few colors with a flat brush and I didn't add too much water to the paint, so I was kind of dry brushing it on a bit. And that gave it some nice texture and it just looks so much better. The bottom part, it was just like everything is clicking into place now. So yeah, that was my little gouache doodle and I'm quite happy with it. And will you see more gouache from me? I don't know. I don't know, but I really that really scratched that itch. So that's that. And that is also the end of this vlog. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Those are really cute. I quite like that mirror there. It's nice. The face is on the... <laughs> Which? Same song. Oh, it slipped up. <laughs>